welcome back to my channel. So, welcome to a bit of a different video today. It's one that I was thinking of and it's actually stemmed from a couple of different things and we've ended up at this video which is all the things that I hate. So, a little bit of a weird one for me and um, actually as I've been going through the last couple of days I've been really enjoying adding to my list of things that I hate um, and generally if you're new to my channel I'm generally quite a positive upbeat person i like to be quite happy i like to try and see the best in situations unless it's my time of the month then that then it's definitely not um but yeah i thought this would be quite a fun video to film it's very light-hearted it's nothing too serious or anything like that but i thought i'd just share with you things that i absolutely hate so as i said i've been making a list on my phone um i tried to get to 30 but i actually don't i can't think of 30 but I'm gonna start, because there's quite a few. The first thing that I absolutely hate is mustard. Um, and this stems from my childhood, and rather than punishing me in other ways, my parents actually used to punish me with mustard, and it was like a way of making me behave. So if I was naughty, which I think I was quite a naughty child for some of my childhood, um, especially in my younger years, um, my mum and dad would literally carry around sachets of mustard with them, um, and that would be my punishment and I hated the taste of it, I hated the smell of it and it's carried me into my adult years and uh, now it's something that like if I see it, so if I see someone have like mustard on a hot dog or if I see someone have it with their dinner, it actually like brings back such I don't know, it just makes me stress. Like, I absolutely hate it. I hate the smell of it. I hate being around someone who's having it. I really try to be quite discreet about the fact that, like, I absolutely hate it. I usually, if it's like I'm at someone's house and they have it, I usually try to, like, discreetly walk away because I can't even, like, smell it because it just takes me back to, like, my childhood and I absolutely hate it. And, um, yeah, that is one of the things that I absolutely hate the most in the world. I will never, ever have mustard on its own however i know that double cheeseburgers do have mustard in them and i cannot taste the mustard in that um but just a list of things i will never have a hot dog with mustard in it and if i ever kiss ross after he's had that um i hate it i try to avoid that at all at all costs um i have never bought dijon mustard will never buy dijon mustard there will never be mustard in my house um it's just something that i'm never going to have i'm never going to change my mind about it and i absolutely hate it okay so moving over to the next one so the next one is having dry hands absolutely hate having dry hands i know exactly where this has come from as well i my first job when i was i think i was 15 when i started working um it was actually at hairdressers which i loved i absolutely loved working at the hairdressers i actually went on to work at another hairdressers um but it actually gave me the whole thing about having dry hands because you're constantly washing up and washing people's hair your hair your hands are always dry and literally feel awful um and i hate having dry hands and it took me a really long time to not keep putting water on my hands when they were dry it become a bit of a thing for me so i hate having dry hands i always carry moisturizer with me i have it in my work bag i have it in my locker at work um i just generally i'm quite a moisturized person i also i'm not going to show you because i've actually just made this look quite tidy over my bedside table but my bedside table is full of like night cream tan creams <laughs> moisturizers in general because i absolutely hate having dry hands kicking back off the next thing on my list is leaving people out and i really have a bit of a problem with this and this isn't to say you know i'm this special person that thinks about everything all the time i'm definitely not saying that but i really have a thing with people not being invited to things and it's something that I I just I don't know I definitely saw it with our wedding I hate like the thought of like someone not coming I hate the thought of like a friend not happening or like something not happening and someone thinking oh my god I wasn't invited um even if we have like a gathering or something like that I'd hate the fact that anyone was to think that they'd be left out um and it's something me and Ross like joke about because I have quite a big family and I can't invite someone to my house and not invite someone else because it literally makes me feel so guilty and it may stem from the fact that i'm a middle child i always say like me and my nan were middle children and middle child syndrome and like that kind of thing so it's something that i absolutely hate and if i can avoid it i will and to the point i know that it reflects even in my work life because if i'm if i'm arranging like a meeting or something like that 
I'm that annoying person that's like, I'm going to put them on the invite anyway, even if I know that they don't want to come, because I hate to think that they weren't invited to something. So it's something that I absolutely hate. I hate leaving people out. I hate, I think I probably hate being left out. So maybe that's where it comes from. I hate leaving people out. So if I've ever left someone out, I've never meant to, like absolutely never meant to. It's something that I really, really hate. Okay, so the next one on my list is, and this is quite a funny one to me because this is something that happened recently, but the smell of smoked bacon. I hate the smell of smoked bacon. And a couple of weeks ago, me and Russ had a bit of a disagreement on something because he cooked basically, a, it was a TGI Fridays sausage that come from um, Iceland. It was in like the TGI's frozen section and the whole smell that surrounded my house i got out of the bath and like, i could joke joke about it now but at the time it was like making me heave um i got out of the bath and i could the smell just kind of like hit me and i could smell smoked pig basically everywhere in my house in my bedroom i could smell it i could smell it downstairs it, i could smell it on all the upholstery i feel like it was one of those smells that literally just like clung on to everything um so at like 10 o'clock that night i was walking around the house like lighting candles like waiting for them to like not to tunnel so i could blow them out um i can't spray too much because wrist wrist ross has fish tanks and obviously you can't spray things near the fish tanks um but i absolutely hate the smell of um smoked bacon and i hate the smell of that sausage and we will never be having that sausage again in our house ever again so that's something else that i absolutely hate um something more recent that has like got worse this is one more directed to people who wear tights so one of my absolute pet pet peeves hates in the world is when you get a hole on the toe of your tights and I basically have like four pairs of tights that I love like they are the nicest material um I think I got them from either Boots or Marks and Spencers and I think they're the bamboo range so they're like really thick but like warm and I just I love them they're just the nicest texture of tights but this sounds so bad but they've got like some of the pairs have got like little tiny holes in the toe but I keep buying more and more tights and I keep buying what I think I've had before and because obviously tights don't have labels you can't tell if it's the same pair as what you bloody buy in um so I've got a couple of pairs that wear like if I'm wearing them like my little toe sticks out of them and I absolutely hate it but I love the tights so much um so yeah I that's one of my absolute hates and when every time I get them out I have thrown a couple of the pairs away actually I've got like I think I've got two more pairs that have still got like tiny little holes in the toe um but it's just one of those things that I absolutely hate. But I hate buying new tights because none of them ever feel the same as these old ones. Um, so yeah, that's an absolute hate for me. I hate it when your toe sticks out. It's the most uncomfortable thing ever. Um, so yeah, that's another one of my hates. This is one that I especially experience of a weekend. And this is... I and I don't know if I'm alone in this. I hate it. Like, absolutely hate it. And it is a sound of talk sport. I hate... The muffling sound of TalkSport. It sounds like a pirate radio station and I hate it. Like, honestly, if I sit and listen to it in the car, it gives me a headache. Like, I actually hate the muffled noise of it. I also don't have a clue about football, so I don't even know what they're talking about. So when they talk about it and I can't really hear it properly and it's like muffled and stuff, like at some points it's screechy. I just hate it. It's one of my things that I absolutely hate. So if I'm getting in the car with Ross around the time that like there's a football match on, I'll literally like try and distract myself with something else so like the noise doesn't like get on my nerves. Um, so yeah, it's something that I absolutely hate. I've always hated it and I think I always will. <laughs> okay, the next one on my list actually happened to me yesterday, which is when I popped it on my list. And it is when you have fake tanned and your fake tan comes off your hands. So you have power hands and everywhere else is tanned. I absolutely hate it. Like, honestly, it makes me feel so insecure. It makes me feel so like unconfident if that's not even that's probably not even a word but i actually absolutely hate it to the point where like if i'm wearing like a roll neck or something like that and obviously you put your hand to your face i mean my hands like right now look quite red i have fake tanned but it obviously hasn't fully developed yet today but i hate when you've got pale hands and especially when you've got pale feet as well it's when the rest of you is tanned and then like if you're wearing sandals in the summer and your feet are like pow um i say your feet this is all for me i have nothing against anyone else's 
paleness on their feet is my hands and my feet i just hate it when they go pale before everything else and i think it's obviously because i wash my hands all of the time um so it just comes off my hands so easily and so quickly but it's something that i hate um, and really if i you know was organized enough i'd probably just put a little bit of tan on my hands um as and when i need to but i completely forget and then i'll wake up in the morning and be like oh my, my hands really pal so, this was another one that happened to me yesterday um i was wearing a white bodysuit um a long sleeve bodysuit um and it was it annoys me so much i actually hate it and i got all um i got makeup all around the neck of my white bodysuit and i absolutely hate it i really wish i actually wouldn't have gone i went to the toilet probably at like half nine or something yesterday morning when i was at work and i looked at myself in the mirror properly you know like if you're in the toilet with other people you can't really look at yourself the way that you'd want to look at yourself like i usually get really close and i'm like looking to see if any of my spots have got heads on them or anything like that when but obviously i do that when no one else is there um, i looked at myself i saw that there was like an orange rim around my white um bodysuit and it made me feel so self-conscious the rest of the day and i wish i wouldn't have looked and it really really annoyed me um so that is something that i absolutely hate i hate that i can't wear white without worrying about the whole transfer of makeup or tan or whatever i've got on like going all around my neckline um and i actually had a scarf on yesterday and i was like did it wrap round my neck like looped it kind of thing um so it wouldn't cover that like it, so it would cover that sorry and um yeah it's just something that i hate i hate that that's even a problem and it annoys me so i hate it so this next one is relevant to anyone who has a samsung appliance i.e washing machine or tumble dryer i hate the noise of the samsung beep when it finishes i absolutely hate it it drives me insane it goes on for what feels like forever so you could be anywhere in the house and you will hear and it's literally just gone off you will literally hear the song and then it'll get in your head and you keep thinking about it over and over again and i just hate it I, it's too long and do you know what as well we've had a couple of samsung washing machines um in our old house we had one that um flooded unfortunately i brought the whole floor up you may remember that time it was a very stressful time um and then we bought another one which which we actually left in our old house for the new buyers and um we've bought another one in this house because we i love the washing machine i just hate the noise i hate it so much and it was so funny because the builders who were building paul's place um heard it as well and they were going what's that noise i recognize that noise i could hear them talking they was like oh, it's the bloody washing machine and i was like i know that i'm not alone everyone hates this noise why does samsung still have this noise on their washing machines i will never know it is the most irritating noise ever and i hate it okay this next one i used to love it and now i hate it so it's actually putting petrol in my car i absolutely hate it i hate going there i hate the thought that i have to get out of the car and put petrol in i always have this absolute panic when i put petrol in my car that i'm gonna put diesel in it and I will literally, I'll be that annoying person. You would hope that you never sit behind me at a petrol station <laughs> because I will literally just scan over all of the different options. I'm like, right, Kelly, pick it up. Right, you've definitely got the right one. You've definitely got, right, it's definitely the right one. Then I check it to the inside of my, um, the petrol cap. I'm like, yeah, definitely matches. Definitely the right one. Right, put it in. And then the whole process of like standing there waiting for it. Then I start thinking, oh my God, I'm going to drop it. I'm going to spill it on the floor. I literally start thinking all of these things about the petrol pump. Um, and then the thing as well, I have become the biggest germaphobe. I am so aware of germs. I hate germs i'd still am that person i still disinfect every piece of food shopping that comes into this house every parcel every envelope the bottom of our shoes our coats everything i'm still i still am like that and i think i will forever be like that and the thought of touching the petrol pump like literally i'll be thinking the whole journey of germs i'll be like right okay i've touched the petrol pump now i've touched the door handle with my car now i've touched my purse now i need to put my purse out now i need to go to the touch the door and the thing and the whole like the whole story of everything that i've touched will be like running through my head um so then i'll sanitize my hands because i have sanitizer on me all of the time so i'll sanitize my hands before i get into the petrol station then i'll sanitize them once i've touched the door again then i'll do it so it's a whole long process of like 
this whole petrol procedure and I hate it and then even worse than that I hate it when someone's behind me because I'm that person I get so panicky I'm like oh my god I like need to hurry up and then when I try to do things quickly I do the wrong so it takes me twice as long so as I said you'll be lucky if you never sit behind me at a petrol station I absolutely hate going to get petrol I really really dread it and it's not even like the obviously I need petrol in my car like I have to do it but like I hate it like I absolutely hate it and like yeah it's just I think I always will okay so this one isn't so relevant to me now it was more in my younger years um but it is something that I still think about and it's actually house music I am not a house music kind of person at all um I love music that you can sing to like if I was out I don't know if I was out at a party or a club or something like that I am the person who's like singing like 90s 2000s r&b hip-hop like that is my thing like that's the music that i absolutely love but house music and like i'm gonna say it's wrong is it like electric it's not electric music it's something like that anyway i hate it like i hate the whole thing i hate that you can't sing to anything i don't know what to do with myself like i don't know where like how do you move to that i'm i'm not a raver never have been i just it's just something that I absolutely hate and like if I'm flicking through radio stations or if like I'm listening to Kiss like in the evening it goes a bit like housey I'm like oh I don't like this like this isn't for me I just I just hate it it's just absolutely hate it give me a bit of like yeah give me a bit of old school Nelly I'm gonna say I was about to say end dubs then but end dubs like Neo like that's the if you saw my playlist on um, my google play that is like all the music that I listen to. <laughs> right, so that is gonna finish off this video. Um, I really hope you enjoyed it. I thought like going through it, I kind of got a little bit off my chest. Maybe it was a bit of a therapy session in disguise. Um, but yeah, I really hope you enjoyed it. If you would like to see a part two, I'm sure I can think of more things that I hate. Um, Cause I do every now and again, not very often, but I do or have done favorites videos. So I thought like, it would be quite a funny thing to do things that I hate. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please, hit the subscribe button I'm not too sure whereabouts it is um but if you don't mind hitting the subscribe button that would be much appreciated and if you like this video please click the thumbs up and hopefully I'll see you very soon for another video maybe it's a more positive one so maybe see you then thanks bye